excited. And we appreciate your effort and your time, your support. We know that many of you have traveled across the, the country and states. And we also know that this is a special moment. And we really are excited that we get to celebrate that with you. So without further ado, we are going to uh, introduce uh, Jody Clemens, Hall of Fame committee member, to present the first award. Good evening, everybody. It's not every day you get an opportunity to uh, induct somebody that you looked up to, um, appreciated, and had a privilege to be mentored by. So this is pretty cool, all right? <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, what can I say that I haven't already said to my big bro, not by blood, but big red blood, all right? Um, Mr. Damian Gregory, it's, 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 I don't want, I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> I don't need the plaque to read off his accomplishments. I know him. <laughs> I watched him. Um, I definitely... Um, push to be like him, and it's just been a privilege to see him grow and do things in the community for kids, um, business-wise, real estate, anything that you can think of, he's done. He took the talent that God blessed him with to use it for the greater of the good, to better a lot of the kids in the city of Lansing. And I'm one of them. Um, <laughs> when I started playing football here, everybody compared me to him. He thought he was a basketball player, just like you. He called himself Baby Barkley. Wexford's finest, as he will tell you. Um, he, had, he had the sack record here at Sexton. When I started playing, they said, Damian Gregory had 15. I said, OK, I'm going to get 16. I did. Um, I've been driven to be in the same, sh uh, same limelight as him. Um, same high school, same college, Indiana University. He had a couple mistakes there, but I tell him all the time, it was hard on me because certain things that had happened down there, but it's all love. Um, and then we had an opportunity to be with the same pro team. So we in the same locker room with the Detroit Lions. I'm like, this is somebody I looked up to my entire life, and we get an opportunity to fight for the same position on the same pro team, from the same college, from the same high school. So it's been, like I said, an honor. If you want to name off the statistics, all area, all state, um, all American at Illinois State, all Big Ten at Indiana, Cleveland Browns, Miami Dolphins, Detroit Lions. I don't have to read it. I know it, all right? Um, like I said, and I tell him all the time, I just appreciate him and I love him. And I'm so happy that we are able to induct you in the Hall of Fame. So give it up for my big bro, Damian Gregory.
Thank you very much, Jody, man. I, I appreciate all the kind words. Uh, all I ever wanted to be was a big red, so. <laughs> um, I'm a third generation big red. My granddad played for Central, and uh, my mother went, you know, went here, and uh, all my uncles. Um, my uncle was in the Hall of Fame with his football team. So I aspire one day to be in the Hall of Fame as well. So uh, Uncle Chris, he couldn't be here. Uh, definitely um, wish he could have been here, but uh, he ain't able to be here, but um, I was trying not to cry and all that, but. <laughs> but uh, I'm from Bartlett Street. As y'all know, that's probably six streets away. Uh, Al was barber shop, the red shop, his father's shop. I walked there every day, every other day, to, you know, to see my grandfather up there talking mess with his, his dad. And uh, just, uh, I've been wanting to be a big red my whole life. I wanted to be like James Carter and, and uh, just all the great ones that came before me, you know, Matt Beard and a lot of great guys that, that played before me. And, uh, Got to watch them, Rodney Wilson, see a lot of things that they were able to do. So I just knew when I got my opportunity to, that I was going to represent. Claude, Dr. Claude Hogan, is one of my running backs. So uh, just glad he could be there, one of my teammates as well. And uh, like I said, uh, guys like Jody, uh, I just did what I was supposed to do. Just uh, reach back into the neighborhood, do camps do mentoring, just try to bring some young brothers along, you know, so uh, just happy to be here, happy to be rewarded with this, and uh, this is for my grandfather, Ted Davenport. Hello. This up. This is an honor and a privilege to be in front of you today. Uh, the reason I'm saying this is because when I first came to Sexton, my first year of being a Big Red, as my sophomore year, I had Coach Campbell as my first coach I ever existed, ever came to me, far as a coach and a player. And also, it's an honor to have. Uh, Coach Herner, who's going to accept for the family. So I had Coach Herner and Coach Campbell, and they told me and showed me what it really meant to be a big red and what it means about not giving up and believing in yourself and giving back to the community. And this is what a big red is all about. And also, I was, I was taught to stand up, speak up, and sit down. Lansing Sexton High School Athletic Hall of Fame 2022 proudly inducts Bob, and we call him Camps, Campbell. On this day, 16th day of September 2022, Coach Campbell. He was 1943 to 77, taught and coached at Sexton. He was also the 1955 head coach of the baseball state championship. Members of coaching staff on the state championship football teams, and we had a lot of them, and we were always tough. Punter, he was a punter for the University of Michigan football team, 1939 University of Michigan baseball, and also he was a major league baseball player. And this is Mr. Bob Campbell. And now I would like to have Mr. Herner come up and accept this plaque for Mr. Herner, I mean, Mr. Uh, Campbell and his family.
Fred, it couldn't be put any better. You know, I got to remiss and say one thing. I've seen a lot of people here tonight that I haven't seen for a while. And I, I would just want to special congratulations to Damien. You know, we had some good times and some rough times, but I'm awful proud of you. And I look up at the committee, I think I had five of them as players or students. And it uh, makes me feel proud because they're doing well and they, they give back and they care for their families and the community. Now, uh, I'd like to accept this on the part of Bob's son, David Campbell, who cannot be with us tonight, but Dave and I have been close for a number of years. We were students together here at Sexton, and we, we spent four years down the road at Ann Arbor at Michigan. We were not too welcome when we returned home to, for visits for those four years, but that's beside the point. And talking to Dave Wednesday, there's three things he made me promise to share with you tonight. First, he'd like to thank the committee for considering and selecting him for induction. It meant a lot to Dave, and I'm sure it meant a lot to Bob. Second, he wants to congratulate the entire 22 class of inductees on the great honor you're going to get tonight. And third, he wanted you all to know how much he loved Sexton and the kids that went through in his tenure here and how honored and blessed he would feel to know that he was considered and selected for induction into the Hall of Fame. And in closing, I got to coach with Bob for five years. One of those years, Fred played football on that team, the first undefeated JV team. But Bob taught me three things that I never forgot to this day, and this, that goes back almost 60 years now. Number one, kids don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And buddy, we don't have enough of that now. Second, there's no I in the, in the word team. Another forgotten thing too much so today. And lastly, he told me, Doug, keep it simple, stupid, or kiss. And I never forgot it. And on behalf of Dave and his family, I'm proudly accept this award honoring Bob Campbell into the Sexton Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Turner. I'll be presenting the award for our next inductee. I think this is special for me, uh, being a uh, high school wrestler uh, myself. I can remember being very young, uh, along with Charles Dean and many others, five, six, seven years old, coming into Sexton, going up into the wrestling room, and uh, looking at all of the pictures in the hallways that represented every state champ from 1942 on. And I remember looking at those pictures and saying, I wanna be up there. I wanna be like him and like him and like him. So it's an honor for me to uh, present this award uh, because uh, this inductee was an exceptional wrestler. He was a student and he was a community activist. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome the family of Floyd Eaton, 1948 Wrestling. Thank you. Uh, Lansing Sexton High School Athletic Hall of Fame 2022 proudly inducts Floyd Eaton on this day for wrestling, 1947-1948, 5A state champion. He was also, 
He was also a member of the 1947-48 uh, state champion team, as well as going undefeated his senior year. Along with just wrestling as an athlete, and even after high school, he went on to uh, continue uh, his athleticism and hard work. Uh, he was one of the first uh, bodybuilders in Michigan, first African-American bodybuilders. He really set the stage for those uh, coming after him. He was the 1967 Mr. Michigan bodybuilding champion. So once again, Floyd Eaton, thank you. Well, for my dad, I'd like to thank the committee for bringing this about. Uh, he went through a lot in his life. He raised uh, six kids, worked three jobs, he did a lot of stuff to keep us together and to basically do what he'd always done, worked hard. He used to uh, tell me stories about the times that he was wrestling. And for African-American in, in those years, uh, he, he told me one story about how th he wrestled out in some outlying area. And it really wasn't conducive to him being there. And the coach asked him to throw the match. But knowing my dad, and he went out there and pinned the man and then ran into the, ran into the locker room. <laughs> so, so he was going to do what he wanted to do anyway. But again, I'd like to thank the committee for this honor. And uh, for those of, of you that are much younger than me and my father, uh, remember that you stand on their shoulders. Thank you. <laughs> the flag. Just stand right over here. Our next committee, Eric Pocan, will present next. Okay, thank you everybody for being here tonight. I just want to say congratulations um, on your athletic accomplishments here at Sexton um, and beyond. Um, and just for the track team, just to let you know, I was able to talk to Coach Old yesterday. Um, she was going to come, but she, uh, she injured her back. And so she just wanted to send congratulations and let everybody know from the track team to have a great night. Um, she really wishes she could be here. And she said that it was a great group to coach. Um, and obviously, um, if you look at the record board up there, there's uh, quite a few names from that team. So I can imagine um, she had a great time coaching everybody. So I'm here to um, induct Chuck Ginther. Um, we're going to accept this award on behalf of uh, Mr. Ginther. As, uh, there's no one here um, to accept it, so the committee uh, accept this award on his behalf. Um, Lansing Sexton High School Athletic Hall of Fame 2022 proudly inducts Chuck Ginther on the 16th day of September 2022. Uh, Mr. Ginther was a wrestler and a football player. He was the 1956 state champion in wrestling, the 1956 wrestling regional champion, 1956 all city football, and he also holds uh, the school record with six touchdowns in one game, and that was against Eastern High School. So congratulations to Chuck Ginther. Thank you, Eric. Our next committee member, Michael Bowles to present. Yes. Good evening, everyone. 
Good evening, everyone. Thank you. It gives me a great honor to present this award to a young lady. Uh, I just want to just do an aside. I'm going to get it in before she gets it in. This young lady was very fast in track. She was so fast that they challenged the young men to a race, the boys' track team. This young lady won the race. So I just want Janice Norris to come forth to receive her award. I just want to read a plaque very quickly. Lansing Sexton High School Athletic Hall of Fame 2022 proudly salutes Janice Norris on the 16th day of September for track. Just some of her accomplishments. She's CAC champion in the 100 yard dash, CAC champion in the 200, 220 yard dash, first place in the 880 relay. CAC, first place in the 440 relay. You bad. <laughs> Lansing State Journal prep honor roll, and she has earned more than 90 medals. 1982 MHSSA regional champion in 100 meters. Janet Norris Sexton High School salutes you. Congratulations. <laughs> You may have some comments. wonderful celebration. I would like to start off with a few thank you. I would like to thank my children, my family for being here tonight, as well as some of my friends. Of course, thank you to the J.W. Sexton 1982 track team. Thank you to the Lancer School District, Sexton High School, Mr. Michael Bowe, Mr. Kenneth Turner, for making sure this team was remembered and never forgotten. Special thank to Sharon Bennett, rest in peace. <laughs> Ms. Olds for all the things they had did for us during our time on the track team and during our time in high schools as coaches. They pushed us to the limit. They pushed us to give 100% every time. I thank them for that. When I think about the record that was set, the 100 yard dash, the two, mini, the two minute yard dash, which is still not broken. My mind, my mind go back, my mind go back to the record sitting. My dad had never seen me run. He was bragging about how fast I could run. And I remember asking him, how do you know I can run? You have never seen me run. He applied, you must can run. You all over TV, in the newspaper. The day I broke the record, before I ran, and I looked up in the stand, my dad was sitting there. After I broke the record, I remember going up to him, and he said, you run like a horse. <laughs> so I guess, we can thank my father, A.J. Norris, for the record you see here tonight. In closing, I would like to thank the community for all they had done to make this night special for the 1982 girls track team. Tonight, I dedicate this award to about five, five important people that are no longer here with me. My mother, Ethel Lee Norris. <laughs> my father, A.J. Norris. My brother, my twin, James Norris. 
my brother, Bobby Johnson, my daughter, my daughter, Sierra Norris. Thank you very much. It truly is wonderful um, to celebrate all your accomplishments and the history. Our next Hall of Fame committee member will be presenting the next two awards, Dr. Claude Hogan. Welcome home, Big Reds. Welcome home. Now you're here to stay. Um, I'm a first generation Big Red and the only generation Big Red for my family. Um, is it between Sexton or Eastern? I'm so glad I came to Sexton. I didn't belong at Eastern, I don't think, because we make winners here. We make champions here. So I've, I'm a, anybody that knows me knows I'm a track guru. I love track, I love speed. To see Miss Norris here was just an honor. Next, my present, I, wanted to, uh, I wanted to introduce all of them, all the track athletes, you know, but the committee wouldn't let me do that. But I got two of them, so I'm happy. Um, Janice, I would love to get a picture with you. Because I, I, it's one of your records that where I was looking at when I was a freshman, and it actually gave me purpose, you know what I mean? So thank you for that, and all the, all the Hall of Famers that are here today. Thanks, thank you for giving me purpose and, and continuing the tradition, all right? Uh, Lansing Sexton High School Athletic Hall of Fame 2022 proudly inducts Jackie Burden. <laughs> On this 16th day of September 2022, track and basketball. Let's not play games. 1983 graduate, Lansing Junior High, jump, high long jump record 18 feet, feet 10 and a half inches. Sexton long jump record, 18 feet, 11 inches. Two-time honor roll meet long jump champion. Two-time regional long jump champion. Member of the 4x100 relay record and three-year varsity basketball player. Thank you so much for paving the way. Not just for the ladies, for, for me too. Thank you so much. No, no handshakes. <laughs> we are j -Dubs. I want to thank, I want to, first I want to give glory to God, and I want to say we are missing a couple of links to this chain, and I'm going to say Sherm Bennett, um, you just don't know what that man did for us in the community. He was a taxi cab driver, he took, every, we had 15 people in a wagon taking us all to our spots, okay? So I want to give him some honor. Um, I want to give some honor to Tammy Jones. She's supposed to be here with us today. Woo, if, if you ever know anything about a 400 runner, that would be Tammy Jones. And my girl, Demetria Lawrence. Um, she was cute. <laughs> she did the shot put in the disc, so we want to we wanna just definitely give them some honor. And I want to give honor to my mother. Um, my mother couldn't make it to a lot of my track meets, and when she did, I remember coming around that 200 corner, and I could hear her say, that's my baby! That was her first track meet she ever seen, and um, we definitely brought it home. And let me say something about this young lady right here, Janice Norris. We go back so far. We were in, um, as y'all call it, middle school, but junior high for us. And I kept hearing about this girl, Janice Norris. 
And Janice kept coming after me and kept coming after me and kept coming after me. So that being said, Sharon Bennett came to me and said, um, I was trying to decide what school I was going to go to. There was the Eastern border and there was the Sexton border. I was not going to Eastern because I got, I got legacy up here. I got legacy up here. Adolph Burton, where you at? I got legacy up here. So um, I didn't know where Janice was going because she was in the same kind of border I was in. So finally, when, we, when I made my decision to come to Sexton, I heard that Janice Norris was coming to Sexton too. We was going to tear them up, girl. We tore them up. <laughs> I say all this to say I am so blessed to have had an incredible community with the Big Reds. My teammates, my teacher, Mr. Herner, how are you, young man? Um, I have to say I had an incredible time here. This was probably some of the best years of my life. And um, I went on to be a track coach at a different school because Sexton wouldn't hire me. <laughs> I ended up going to Everett. I was at Everett for eight years, and I have a two-time state champion at Everett. So thank you, committee, for blessing me with this honor and being able to see some of my incredible friends. And um, we gonna get together, ladies, because we got plenty of stories to tell. Thank you again. I am back. Uh, again, track and field is why I'm still here around Lansing. I'm still training. I'm still actually training people to try to get, beat these records here at Sexton. Haven't got it yet, but we're working on it. Uh, there are other athletes I've trained throughout the district that uh, some of them have reached it, but these girls are tough. This is Sexton. You know what I mean? We know how Sexton is. All right, without further ado, Lansing Section High School Athletic Hall of Fame 2022, proudly inducts Angela Swain Stepter. I think she can still run a little bit. On this 16th day of September 2022, track and field, 1983 MHAA State Meet Class A third place, 110 meter low hurdles. Fourth place, 800 meter relay. 1983, Capital Area Conference, first place. 1600 meter relay, 800 meter relay. 1983, MHAA Regional Class A, first place. 800 meter relay, 1600 meter relay, 100 meter and 300 meter low hurdles. So she pretty much swept everything she ran that day. 1983, Lansing State Journal Honor Roll Meet, first place. 800 meter relay, 100 meter and 300 meter low hurdles. 1982, LSJ honor roll meet, first place, 110 meters, 110 meters, uh, and 220 yard low hurdles. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thanking God for the gift and from whom all blessings flow. This truly is a blessing and an honor to be here tonight to receive this award. It certainly came out of the red or the blue. <laughs> but anyway, when I received a call from Ken, I was really, really taken aback because I never, ever anticipated um, this type of honor, this type of award. So thank you so very much, committee. Um, others saw it and I didn't care because it's not about recognition. It really isn't. It's what we do for God that lasts. 
I'm not saying I'm not grateful, because I am. I'm truly grateful. Um, so I want to thank all of you um, for being here tonight. I want to thank you for your support. Thank my family. My husband saw it. Unfortunately, he's not here to physically see it. But my family is, and some of them are extended family, and all of you are here to celebrate all of us. And all of us together made up that track team. None of us would be here tonight without one another. It definitely takes a village. We all are glue in that village. Let us continue to support one another, support our children as they come through, always encourage them because if we speak positivity into their lives then they'll know that they too can do and be anything that they want to be despite what society says god bless you all Thank you very much. Okay, now we get to the team inductee. And again, a very special team. And you can see based on the individual inductees that, that the team had a big part of their championship tradition and winning. I completely agree with Angela when it, she talks about it being a team and an effort and that those team members push one another individually and together. So we're going to have Mike Bowles, Ken Turner, Turner, and Dr. Hogan present the teams. <clears throat> we will read the team accomplishment and plaque, and then when we, what we would like is, as you hear your name called up, please come up and find a spot across the... Uh, edge of the table as we present your award for this great honor. I just wanted to highlight some things about this, uh, the 82 team and the dominance that they had. Uh, I just want just the points they, during dual meets, that's the conference meets that we had here. Uh, Grand Ledge against Grand Ledge, they scored 24 points. Those girls scored 97. Now, Ann Arbor Pioneer, it's one of the biggest schools in Michigan. They scored 51 points, Sexton 68. Everett, 25 points, Sexton, destruction, 98. <laughs> Waverly, come on, nine points. 114 Sexton girls. Kalamazoo Lou Norix, 34, Sexton, 89. East Lansing, thank you for doing this, 42. 81. Eastern, again, gracias. <laughs> 16, 106. And Holt, 39 and 84. It goes without saying that they won first place in the CAC, the Regionals, the Chippewa Relay, the Pioneer Coed Classic, and came in third in the Low Norse, uh, the Low Norse Invitation, which is huge, even still this day. Uh, one thing, other thing I want to say, not only was that 82 team dominant and undefeated in the conference, but 81, and the 83 team was as well. So not play games, all right? So, without further ado, the team inductees. 1982 girls track and field team, Coach George Old, Georgia Old. Coach Sherman Bennett. Heather Hill. Natasha Childry. Alicia Walton Drain. Michelle Owens Willis. Wow. Laura Nelson. Laura Nelson. 
Sharon Trainer Brown. Lisa Burton. Belinda Hicks. Lynette Gardner, I know she's here. She's now the section back, uh, volleyball coach, varsity. Lynette been here a while. <laughs> Lisa Holtham. Bernadette Jackson Ruth. Felicia Davis. Beth Brockwell. Colleen Woolard Thompson. Jennifer Bennett. Jennifer. Sydney Whitfield. Jackie Burton. Angela Swain. Janice Norris. Janice, sorry, I'm sorry. Janice Norris. Janice Norris. Track guys will never forgive me now. Demetria Lawrence. <laughs> Teresa Sanders Jones. Lori Hof Garcia. <laughs> Debbie Letzma. <laughs> Vicky Starr Campos. <laughs> Deborah Hughes. Kim Burton. Tammy Jones. Melissa Holly. And Yolanda Scott Spivey. Congratulations, ladies, and all the inductees. And once again, the 1982 girls track and field team.
It truly has been an honor and a privilege celebrating tonight. We ask that you please feel free to take pictures, to gather, and if you would like, um, make your way to the football stadium off of Michigan Avenue. We will have a designated parking spot at the south end of the stadium where we will have gates open for you to enter. We apologize if we've missed any certificates or recognition, and we truly appreciate your support and coming this evening. On behalf of the J.W. Sexton Athletic Hall of Fame, thank you.